Isaiah 65. Judgment and Salvation. I revealed myself to those who did not ask for me. I was found by those who did not seek me, to a nation that did not call on my name. I said, Here am I, here am I. All day long I have held out my hands to an obstinate people, who walk in the ways not good, pursuing their own imaginations. A people who continually provoke me to my very face, offering sacrifices in gardens and burning incense on altars of brick. Who sit among the graves and spend their nights keeping secret vigil. Who eat the flesh of pigs and whose pots hold broth of unclean meat. Who say, keep away, don't come near me, for I am too sacred for you. Such people are smoke in my nostrils, a fire that keeps burning all day. See. It stands written before me, I will not keep silent, but will pay back in full. I will pay back into their laps, both your sins and the sins of your fathers, says the Lord, because they burned sacrifices on the mountains and defiled me on the hills. I will measure into their laps the full payment for their former deeds. This is what the Lord says. As when juice is still found in a cluster of grapes, and men say, don't destroy it, there is yet some good in it. So will I do in behalf of my servants. I will not destroy them all. I will bring forth descendants from Jacob and from Judah those who will possess my mountains, who my chosen people will inherit them, and there will my servants live. Sharon will become a pasture for flocks, and the valley of Anchor a testing place for herds, for my people who seek me. But as for you who forsake the Lord and forget my holy mountain, who spread a table for fortune and fill bowls of mixed wine for destiny, I will destine you for the sword, and you will all bend down for the slaughter. For I called, but you did not answer. I spoke, but you did not listen. You did evil in my sight and chose what displeases me. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord said. My servant will eat, but you will go hungry. My servant will drink, but you will go thirsty. My servant will rejoice, but you will be put to shame. My servant will sing out of the joy of their hearts, but you will cry out. From anguish of heart and wail and the brokenness of spirit, you will leave your name to my chosen ones as a curse. The sovereign Lord will put you to death, but to his servant he will give another name. Whoever invokes a blessing in the land will do so by the God of truth. He who takes an oath in the land will swear by the God of truth, for the past troubles will be forgotten and hidden from my eyes. New heavens and a new earth. Behold, I recreate new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and of crying will be heard in it no more. Never again will there be in it an infant that lives but a few days. Or an old man who does not live out his years. He who dies at a hundred will be thought a mere youth. He who fails to reach a hunter will be considered a curse. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others live in them, or plant and others eat. For as the days of a tree, so will the days of my people. My chosen ones will long enjoy the works of their hands. They will not toil in vain or bear children doomed to misfortune. For they will be people blessed by the Lord. They and their descendants with them. Before they call, I will answer. While they are still speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb will feed together. The lion will eat straw like the ox, but dust will be the serpent's food. They will neither harm nor destroy in all my holy mountains, says the Lord. Isaiah 66 Judgment and Hope This is what the Lord says. Heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will my resting place be? Has not my hand made all these things? And so they came into being, declares the Lord. This is the one I esteem. He who is humble and contrite in spirit, 
and trembles at my word. But whoever sacrifices a bull is like one who kills a man. And whatever offers a lamb is like one who breaks a dog's neck. Whoever makes a grain offering is like one who presents pig's blood. And whoever burns memorial incense is like one who worships an idol. They have chosen their own ways, and their souls delight in their abominations. I also will choose harsh treatment for them, and will bring upon them what they dread. For when I call, no one answered. When I spoke, no one listened. They did evil in my sight, and chose what displeased me. Hear the word of the Lord, you who tremble at his word. Your brothers who hate you and exclude you because of my name have said, Let the Lord be glorified, that, that we may see your joy. Yet they will be put to shame. Hear that uproar from the city. Hear that noise from the temple. It is the sound of the Lord repaying the enemies all they deserve. Before she goes into labor, she gives birth. Before the pains come upon her, she delivers a son. Who has ever heard such heard of such a thing? Who has ever seen such a thing? Can a country be born in a day or a nation be brought forth in a moment? Yet no sooner is Zion in labor than she gives birth to her children. Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord? Do I close up the womb when I bring to the delivery, says, the, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad for her. All you who love her, rejoice greatly with her. All you who mourn over her, for you will nurse and be satisfied. Add her comforting breast. You would drink deeply into light in their overflowing abundance. For this is what the Lord says. I will extend peace to her like a river, and the wealth of nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm, and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you, and you will be comforted over Jerusalem. That should be the end of Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66.